Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good. We are starting a new topic that is soil. And today we are going to learn the last part of this topic that is uses of soil. As we know soil is the uppermost layer of the earth. All plants grow in a soil. Soil contains water and minerals that plants need to grow. Without soil, plants have no space to grow properly. If there is no plants, we will not get food because plants are primary source of food. But to grow plants, soil is necessary. Without soil, it is not possible for plants to grow properly. So, soil is important for plants to grow. As we have seen, there are three types of soil, clay soil, sandy soil and loam soil. In a clay soil, plants like cabbage, potato, cauliflower, broccoli, they all grow. Plants like cactus, dates and mostly thorny plants are growing in sandy soil. And as we know, loamy soil is a good for growing plants. So mostly all types of plants are growing in the loamy soil. Now the next point that is, soil is a home of many animals. Animals like ants, snails, earthworms, rats, snakes and rabbits. They are living in soil. They make a burrow in a soil and they live in it. Have you seen earthworm? Yes. Earthworm is very useful for farmer. It dig tunnels in a soil and make soil loosen. They add humus in the soil and make the soil fertile. Fertile soil is good for growing plants. So the earthworms are often called the farmer's friend. So what we have learned today? In today's period, we have learned about uses of soil. Mostly all plants are growing in soil because they get water and minerals from soil. Soil is a home of many animals. Animals like ants, snail, earthworm, rat and rabbits. They are living in soil. They dig tunnels in a soil. Also we have seen earthworm. Earthworm is also called as a farmer's friend. Because it loosens the soil and make the soil fertile. Which is good for growing crops. Ok now I will give you new words. That new words you have to copy in your notebook. Number one, minerals. Number two, earthworm. Number three, farmer. Number four, tenant. And number five, fertile. Okay, so recite these words and find from the lesson also underline them now here we have finished this lesson read the lesson properly okay now next week we are going to start with exercise